Hello and welcome to another episode of Music by Ordinary People. I'm your host, Tony B, along with KB Music Man. Thank you for joining us today. Music by Ordinary People is brought to you by Redeemed and Associates, a 501c3 nonprofit profit located here in Columbia, South Carolina. If you'd like to be a part of this podcast, please send us a WAV file format video to boobayrecords at gmail.com. If you just simply like to ask more questions, you can also email us at boobayrecords at gmail.com. We thank you for joining us today. We're excited always to bring you music by ordinary people because we believe that there are, there are so many ordinary people who still yes. have music in yeah. their hearts. So with that said, we are going to introduce our special guest today. Yes, yes. Doozy. Hi. I'm excited. Doozy. I like the name. Thank Doozy. You. Doozy. How are and, you? And, and wait a minute. Really and my understanding is a triple O in triple there, right? Triple O. Triple so D O O O Z Y. You got it. Now. Absolutely. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. I well, like we it. thank that. Thank you for coming because I know a sage. You told me yeah. sage told told mm -hmm. you about it. We um, I think we did him oh, months yeah. ago. Yeah, he's months gonna ago be yeah. actually he's gonna be. Or October. Oh, October. Wow. Be, uh, yeah, because yeah, we pre tape these. Right. Yes. That's what he's telling yeah. me. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So yeah. we're looking forward. I appreciate y'all having me on the show. I'm so excited. Right. Yeah, look, we're, we're excited to have you here. Thank I, you. I'm, I'm excited. I love the name. I'm like, doozy. <laughs> I mean, doozy. Now, I didn't put the miss on it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, so, so tell us a little bit about you. Where you from? Those um, kind of things. Well, I'm originally from Bridgeport, Connecticut. Um, okay. I've been in Columbia a while, though, so I represent Columbia. That's my heart, honestly. Oh, okay, all right. But, Did you graduate um, from any public school? I graduated from Ridgeview High School um, right oh, here in Columbia. Two. Mm -hmm, I'm okay. a District 2 baby. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, District 2 baby. <laughs> yeah, yeah we got lots of friends time. in District 2. Mm -hmm. No, District 1. Well, oh, District, District 1 and one. District 2. <laughs> but, I mean, I'm not going to hate on District 2. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate it. I appreciate it. But, yeah, I've been here um, half of my life. It's been half and half, so okay. I love Columbia. I can't lie. All right. Okay. Great. So, and, so coming from Bridgeport, Connecticut, to hear you say half your life so you was maybe i don't want to tell you age but you were maybe <laughs> Go ahead. 10 11 12. exactly yeah. okay mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. okay so, so what did you think of columbia when you first got here when i i remember i remember when i first moved here i really thought that it was like a vacation spot because all of the palm trees and the sun right, and right, the right. heat oh, it really okay. looked like i was on vacation when i first got here it was like it didn't feel like home at right, first yeah, it felt right. like i was just you know on vacation uh -huh. but after a while you know i got acclimated to it to the point where going back home is like feeling like foreign you know <laughs> i go back home and it's just kind of like yeah, the well, weather uh, the yeah. the smell everything is just totally yeah. different but okay. um, i love columbia it's so sunshiny and warm and that's just where i'm supposed to be all right, all right. <laughs> i'm from miami florida so believe me i've I'm never been to florida man. so i wouldn't even know you what it's like i've never been to florida okay well, we mm -hmm. gotta take a trip to Florida. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So, so tell us about your art. Okay. Um, so I've always been singing. I've been singing since I was old enough to talk. So wow. Singing okay. has been a you know a big part of my life. But okay. um, as of recently, maybe like five years ago, five or six years ago, my mother, she kind of was tired of me. Um, just singing around the house she kind of wanted me to get out there and I was really really shy so okay. it was like something that I would like always think about but I'm like you yeah, know I can't be an artist you know what I mean like yeah. I'm scared to get on the stage I can't even like <laughs> what do you mean but my mom is like you know you need to like really try to take it serious just well, do it one time yeah yes so. and, it's, and it's really interesting that you say that because there are a lot of people who are famous now mm -hmm. who still have stage fright mm -hmm. yes I think the, the first one that comes to band was actually um well, she may not know that name, so I'm, I'm gonna go up a little bit, go up a little <laughs> bit further. Uh, her name is, um, is it Zia, uh, Sia, Sia, mm -hmm. Sia, the the lady who wrote songs for Rihanna. Oh, all wow. those. Mm -hmm. She got this blonde hair that she always cover her eyes. Split, blonde right. and black. Mm -hmm. Yes. But I understand she like throw up before she come on really? stage. Really? Yeah, that, that she get like sick mm, before she come wow. on stage. So that's the most recent one, but that's there's many more. It but is. it's interesting that uh, that being an artist, people don't really think to think mm -hmm. that you have stage fright exactly they, they really they i really was terrified to get on anybody's stage i could oh. not and like what happened was my best friend um 
Savannah Walker. She has a nail salon and she likes to put on different events and she okay. did a fashion show and that was the first time I really got on stage and sang and I was terrified but she pushed me pushed me pushed me right. and so I do it so much now that it's kind of like second nature yeah and yeah so that's I love you performing now you yeah. let the butterflies go exactly and it's, just, yeah you do what you it's practice that, you, you get, get on stage mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah. you get on stage and think that this is your chance if you keep continue to put that in your mind like it's now or never that's why i get on stage and i say now or never right and okay. when you do that i mean yeah. you're gonna just leave go. it all you know leave it all on the <laughs> yeah. stage so so in school did you do music in school did you... I, I was in every single talent show you could think of yeah. and, <laughs> and it's only because of my mother my mom i have to i have to <laughs> give it give to her, her, to her she's, she's very like you know no you get on that stage and you sing like she's okay. definitely like that mom <laughs> okay. so i would drag my best friends into it who didn't even do music i was like wow. let's sing this song and like yeah, you know yeah, just yeah. So i have ahead. somebody with me okay. so so did you do chorus and band? Mm -hmm. okay. I, well, I wasn't in band. But I chorus. tried. I tried to do band. I was never really good with the instrument thing. I leave. I leave that. I think okay. that is like a superpower. If you can play an instrument, I just feel like it's a superpower. <laughs> yeah, but um, I, um, I um I was in chorus my okay. whole life, and you know, I my mom put me in singing lessons and boot camps and all that kind of thing. So. Oh, I pretty really? much, yeah, you know, yeah, my mom I is like, mom. Like, I like mom. One. Yeah, yeah my parents. I want to mom. We say hello, yeah. hey mom. <laughs> They're definitely, my parents and my family are my top supporters. That's they great. support That's me wonderful. 100%. That's mm -hmm. wonderful. So tell us about some of the things you've done. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so in the beginning when I first started, um, I was in a boot camp in Atlanta. And then um, I had the pleasure of working with some um, people who wrote my first song, which is, um, I don't want to say the word. It's N Words Like You renamed like you and um brand a, ma a man named brandon wrote it and he's actually um he was on that show what's that show that uh songwriting competition oh, show right, it's yeah. actually oh, newer yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah it's i a can't newer remember song. the name of it but I know mm -hmm. it's not and i love him he's incredibly talented and he wrote my first song for me and that was like when i first started you know getting you know, on stage and performing. Okay. So okay. I took that song and I kind of ran with it. So I ended up doing like competitions. So I got the opportunity to open up for NBA Young Boy, Renny Rucci. Um, I did. Um, I got the opportunity to perform for the BT Weekend, BT oh. Award Weekend yes. in Atlanta. Okay. Um, I, I'm all over the place. I got to go home and do Norwalk, Connecticut, with um, celebrity DJ Juan Kuhn. Shout out to him. Um, I got to perform at one of the biggest JR crickets in Atlanta. Um, the owners i love the owners um steven shout out to JR him crickets mm -hmm. okay. it, it's a, it's a like a well-known wing spot in atlanta mm -hmm. there's a whole bunch of them but um okay. there what else i'm in charlotte a lot and columbia all over the place um definitely my house okay uh -huh. my yeah. house yeah. Um, shout out my to house. them um and hilo art they love to have me on okay. there and i love yeah. to be on and there what's the other one that the few the artists we had people folks that said they yeah, they said downtown. my house and then there was a uh, Oh, I forget the name of it right now. I know. That's another venue but that they a talk lot of about. USC oh. students yeah. go really? perform at mm -hmm. the joint. The joint. Oh, okay. Yeah. I heard of the joint. And, and the, joint the joint is sort of jazz. So, so mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Since yeah. since I mentioned that, it's sort of jazz oriented. Mm -hmm. okay. But they have they have open mic night. So oh, yeah, wow. that's what they do. I didn't even uh, know what was that. the late? What was the young lady name? Tatiana. Tatiana. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and she talked about open mic there. Mm -hmm. You might want to yeah, give it a shot. It's right on Main Street. Oh wow! Very good audience. Just, okay. just past, if you know where the main course is, mm -hmm. it's just, just down the street. Right. Oh, wow. It's okay. literally just across the block. Yeah. Yep. But at night, it's packed. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's packed. And sometimes when I leave work, you can hear people singing. <laughs> <laughs> people, I, I mean, people be lined up out on the sidewalk. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really. That is yeah. lit. So you should, you should, yeah. you should, you should, you should try it out. Mm -hmm. so, so what style? Um, I'm R&B, 100%. 100% R&B, but I like to think that, um, because... This newer aged R&B that's out today uh -huh. is a little different than yeah. what I do, which I think is one of the main reasons why it's so hard for me to find um, producers and things like that, because they're acclimating themselves to what is R&B today. And I'm right. a little bit not I'm not I don't want to say I'm back in the day type of R&B, but I'm like a, a little, little I have a little more yeah, soul like, than a the regular. School. Yeah, that's 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 nothing wrong with that. that. Mm -hmm. There's nothing wrong with that. There is Stay in your there, lane. There is, there, is, <laughs> there is nothing. There is really nothing. <laughs> and if that's the lane that you want to be in, mm -hmm. right there. Yeah. Because there's some just some really good R&B singers that's still out there. Mm -hmm. Yes. They don't get played as much because right. we got this. New I, age. I don't. I, new age. It's the new age. Yeah, that's what I like to hear. I'm going to do that. New age. Because some of it, I just be like, click. Exactly. Yeah. It's just a little different. And I don't mean it, you know, mm -hmm. to take anything away from right. their, their their work and exactly. what they're doing. It's your liking. But mm -hmm. I just, 
you know, for mm -hmm. me, I, I just, I can't. Right. <laughs> it's like my voice, I feel like, is, well, what I've been told is just naturally soulful. So it's like mm -hmm. when right. I write music, it's okay. like more on the soulful level. Right. But it, yeah. like if the word the words are more so the newer aged you know, topics where people can relate to me, but my audience sometimes falls in the category of like older, yeah. the okay. older yeah. crowd, just because Don't of leave like. Don't leave us out, Because <laughs> they appreciate that, those things. Really exactly. That. So that's yeah. usually, you know, yeah. what I gear towards. Yeah. Okay. Well, so like do it. you write your own lyrics? Mm -hmm. like, and, and um, that one song that I had, my first song um, was written by Brandon, but ever since then, okay. I started to try my, again, my mom, she's like, I think you could do it, just try. And so ever since then, I've been writing my own music, writing my own, and now it's become like an emotional outlet for me. Okay. So it's like, whatever I'm going through at the time, I have to write it out on a song just so I can get that's it out, true. you know? Right. So that's I try to stay as true as I possibly can in my music. Like every song had a story. Every okay. song has a story. An so. experience. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, all right. That's, 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 I like that. I like that. <laughs> I like that. Thank Cause you. Because you do have to write about your experiences. Right. I, I think that's one of the things uh, that made Mary J. Blige so successful. Mm. Yes. Is that, I mean, she wrote about everything. Mm. And I'm not, I'm not taking anything away from that, but she wrote about everything right. that happened in her mm -hmm. life. Like, bam, there it mm -hmm. was. And if she sang it, you knew that it happened <laughs> exactly. to Mary. Exactly. <laughs> and other people related to yeah. it. Yeah, mm -hmm. you yes. knew that it happened to yes. Mary, and she right. made it real for other people who were yes. going through the, those things. And so, to me, that's what R&B and soul music does. Exactly. Yes. Is it reflects that, you know, that, that part of your life mm -hmm. that, that's real. Yes. Right. Not, you know, the, the fantasy thing, but, right. the, but the real mm -hmm. piece of life. So, for me, I'm R&B I'm R &B all the way. Mm -hmm. You know, and gospel, because, you know. Yeah. <laughs> me too, yeah. me love too. It, love it, love it, love yes. it. So, so what, are, what are you doing right now? Oh, I got a lot of things in the. In the <laughs> <laughs> that's great. That's great. Yeah. That's great. I'm happy in for you. In my mind, I um, a lot of people feel like you know I don't put music out as often, and it's just because I'm more of a on the stage type of person. Okay. Like I love to be on the stage, so sometimes I take a break from writing and recording, and I get in the street and I like you know try mm -hmm. to get anywhere I yeah. can and try to perform. And that's good. Right. So my parents actually own a donut shop downtown on Lincoln Street. And, um, What's your the name of it? The donut guy. Go no right. Seriously. <laughs> yeah. Look, I'm, 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 I'm like happy now. You have it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Shout out uh, for them. Shout, yeah. out. Shout out to my parents. They, we have the donut guy on Lincoln Street, 1215 Lincoln yeah. Street. Um, so they have a, a building down there. So um, my mom just gave me the okay to be able to put on a Halloween show on that Monday. Okay. And I'm gonna. It's gonna be a hundred percent costume party, but it's like not really so much a party, more so, more so a show. I want it to be an R and B night. So I want to have a couple of people open up for me, and then I'm gonna bring out my band. And it's gonna be like a really good night. We're gonna have donuts, and we're and gonna, you gonna have, do it at the donut. Mm -hmm, I'm gonna do it at I'm the donut, donut. guy. Yeah, <laughs> Wait, you got night. Yeah, you let, let me Keep know. Me I'm post I will. I, I will. I'm a, a costume. Oh. I'm <laughs> I'm I understand. I understand. <laughs> but yeah, I have That's that going on. Um, I want to put on a virtual um, concert for Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day is one of my favorite holidays. Halloween is definitely my favorite, but Valentine's Day is too. And I want to go ahead and like um, just release a whole bunch of new songs on Valentine's Day and do a virtual concert for it. Okay. Um, it's just a lot. Oh, and then I have. I'm working on a my first actual real project right now I'm in the makings of it so okay. um that's going on as well yeah uh, that's, that's a lot of work it. yeah, yeah. I'll be trying that's and then on top of the donut guy yeah. so it's, it's a lot to, I'm in the middle of one <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's a lot of work right it it's is a, it is it's a lot a lot of work so, yeah. and so um so uh, with all of the projects and all the stuff that you got going on mm -hmm. how do you manage all of that um Honestly, I just my I do most of my writing and most of my thinking about music and everything like that in my room with the door closed, lights off. That's really what wow. I do most of my, okay. you know, and I sit and I think cuz you know, my, the mind is a powerful thing. It you is. Know? It so is. it's like it I try to, you know, just section off myself and make sure I have a special time of the day to really yeah. think and like move forward. Any step forward is okay with me and then I have a lot of musical friends who you know keep me all grounded and keep me right. on, the, okay. on the mission cool. and then cool. my and family and everything yes. mm -hmm. so I just that's try to good. keep making steps every day you know something you know just yes. anything at all that's a awesome. step forward that's all I try to do well we're excited for you and and I what we believe is going to be a great <laughs> career in music thank you because I, I I'm excited to hear doozy <laughs> thank <laughs> you don't get discouraged just keep yeah, just like, mm -hmm. like you said keep focusing keep focusing keep right. and and you said, yeah. like I said, network mm -hmm. stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we got a lot of musicians. Yeah, yeah that, I mean, um, I've already met so I many mean, people yeah, here. Producer right over there. Right, exactly. <laughs> and the like, 
<laughs> so just so Engineer. you know. <laughs> right. That's yeah. crazy because that's so, my biggest downfall. I'd be so much. Yeah. So it's a, it, and, and I, I will say, and I've said this on another show as well, there's a lot of talent right here. It in is. Mm-hmm. It there's is. really there is. a lot of talent mm-hmm. in Columbia. And if you work collectively, you can put on great shows and do so many things. Exactly. And I, and I really hope that community really pulls together more. Mm-hmm. And it's not that they are not now, mm-hmm. but pull together more. More. One mm-hmm. of the things that I do notice, particularly on that, now here on the radio, is the the new age rappers and all mm-hmm. those people they work together because mm-hmm. they might have three people on a song exactly five people on a song mm-hmm. and so those are the kind of things or collaborations that i think are good for them mm-hmm. because they make you know they're, they're becoming successful mm-hmm. in it correct if, if we do that with each other you know it's not wow. to take away anybody's thunder exactly but if we come together and and, 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 mm-hmm. and put on those shows and share mm-hmm. I, I think it'll be a great thing i think it will so be too. that's that's why we love music by ordinary yes. people because we get a chance to talk to people like you mm-hmm. meet people like yes. you support people like exactly. you so we're again we're excited about music by ordinary yes people. man and i'm even more excited <laughs> audience <laughs> yes in just a few moments we're going to experience doozy yes, yes. doozy yes. Yeah. <laughs> i'm so excited This song is near and dear to my heart. Y'all just vibe with me. Love is like the ocean deep, can't stand up. Be careful not to lose your feet, don't get stuck. Now eventually, what it is you're doing to me. Like the girls on your posters, it's just too thick to be one on your roster. The type of love to have you shaking. Type of love that's never breaking. It's contagious, outrageous. Don't get mad at me if I choose to take it away. Don't play, don't play. It's the type of love have you singing out my window. Have you passing out candies to the kiddos? Have you feeling butt naked with your clothes on? Have your boys calling saying that you're too gone? Now suddenly I remind you of your mama. Telling other girls to meet you with the drama Have you clearing every day about your calendar? You don't remember me, but that you remember My love My love My love, my love Oh, you'll never be is a bird that does 
doesn't have the wings to fly I will say your history But there's no memories to document inside As the realest bad is shit to join your side But not for me Cause whoever's for me knows that money equals time Wonderful. <laughs> Thank Doozy. you so much. Thank you. Thank you. That talk. Doozy, I'm yes. a fan. Yes. I do Christian gospel. Oh, yes. Uh, Nothing mean that talk. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. All right. <laughs> yeah. right. So have you ever dabbled in gospel at all? I haven't, but you know, I'm... You open to okay, all possibilities. Okay, I'm open to all oh, possibilities. Well, that's good. And right. I love the Lord. And I was born and raised in the church. My mom is a gospel freak. So it's like we, okay. that's all she does listens she to. My mom does sing. Oh, we need to talk. Yes, yeah. <laughs> she does sing. What's She's your mama name? Crystal. Miss Crystal. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, not music man. We can talk. <laughs> yes, that's so, good. That's mm-hmm. good. All right. Well, again, we thank you so much yes. for thank coming you for and joining me. us. Thank you. Let the audience know oh. how they can reach you with your social. Absolutely. Media. So everything is doozy with three O's. You cannot forget the third O. So it's D O O O Z Y with an underscore at the end for Twitter and Instagram, and then just doozy with um, three O's. Uh, on Facebook, and that's where you can find me. Just you have to keep in mind the three O. If you don't put the third O, you will not find me. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna put in the third O. Make sure I find you. Exactly. All right. Once again, thank you so much yes, for thank coming. You. Thank you. Audience, thank you. Don't forget to subscribe. Yes. Push the little button below. We're excited about it. So until next time, stay safe. Bye. Be safe. KB Music Man. <laughs>